Hello YouTube! Today we're taking a look at Steel Ocean again. This is probably going to be one of the last videos of me and the Mahan, although I'm probably going to keep this one around because I do extremely well with this ship. So this is a competition mode, a little bit different than any other modes. Here, the goal is to reach, in this case, 17 kills as you see in the middle, and whoever reaches that number first is going to be the side that wins. Looking at the overview of the two teams, again, they're roughly about equal in terms of tiers of ships and type of ships. So, to be frankly honest, I didn't actually notice this was competition mode, so maybe I would have chose a little bit different of a strategy. But my objective is going to head out here towards the zero line on the right-hand side of the map, at least from this perspective, and cruise on up hopefully getting around the enemy fleet and being able to come in behind. What I'm hoping is that the aircraft carrier on the enemy side is actually traversing a east-west path toward between A1, A0, or B1, B0, and that I'll come into contact with it, or that their battle wagons or their battleships are sitting back there as well. Hopefully in Hawkeye mode, or Eagle Eye mode, I'm not sure exactly which one they call it, but basically looking out at the map away from where I'm coming in from so that I can hopefully sneak up on them and I see them, they don't see me, until it's too late. That's the general idea and concept because even in this mode, if you keep getting hammered by these battleships and let them go unharassed, that can be detrimental to your team, but it does take a while to get over there. Unfortunately, I'm spotted by this Farragut here, Class 2 Destroyer, so I'm going to have to engage him. That means they probably know I'm coming. Get a couple of hits on him. Now I'm using just standard, typical armor-piercing ammo. I'm coming up on the out-of-bounds markers, which is kind of an invisible wall. So I adjust my heading and then go back to aiming. Miss. Now I do have this Kuma-class cruiser coming up behind me here to help with putting shots on target. So he's engaging that cruiser. I miss again. I am not the most accurate gunner ever in the history of this game. Fire off a couple more rounds and get the kill. That's kill number one. Thank you very much, Kill Alex and your Kuma. You served as a nice tasty distraction. Now I'm going to pull up my smoke bombs, and I'm going to launch a couple of out in this direction, basically to help screen my approach as I see the artillery shells hurling in the distance. I know where an enemy battleship is, at least. So I'm going to continue my outward-bound journey here. A little bit of patience pays off. Automatic restart. Well, Windows, you can wait for that. <laughs> I've got to go and, and run a trip to the hardware store here. Get a couple of additional circuit breakers. I'm going to install two extra 20 amp lines to my computer area so I don't overload circuits with all my computer goodness. So it can restart during that period. At any rate, coming up here, And so far my allies are doing well. We've killed two enemy ships. We've only lost one. Now I am going to commit an error here. Oh, and here's an enemy battle wagon. Enemy Florida. Zoom in on him. Oh, there's another one. I go ahead and open up with a smoke barrage. Again, I can't see him, but this always works both ways. I can't see him, he can't see me. So I'm hoping that this will buy me a little bit extra time to get well within torpedo range, making my target or my making my torpedo runs just a little bit more accurate, a little bit more deadly. Again, I don't know if he's seen me yet at this point or not, but I'm gonna get right down his throat. I'm starting to zigzag. And, yep, he see me. 
So I'm going to basically try to relay or lay out my torpedoes in a cross, crisscross, so that no matter where he turns, he's going to get hit. There's this other uh, battleship out here, but I'm going to go ahead and turn hard in. Come on. Ah, nothing hit. So I'm going to hit him with my other four torpedoes here. Come on. A couple of there actually do make contact. Now there's a Type S out there that's being attacked. I don't think the Sadago land has any IDM here. I haven't taken that much damage, so I'm going to be pelting him with a couple of shots while I wait for my torpedo launchers to come back online. Okay, there are a couple of give me's. Every hit point counts, doesn't it? So I'm going to come up here, line up my shots, and again. Now he's going to try to screen me with some smoke. Again, I'm going to try to aim out with enough torpedoes and enough different directions that no matter which direction he turns, And I decide, hmm, there's two more battleships over here that we found. I don't think they know I'm here. So I'm just going to lay out my torpedoes onto them. Hoping that they hit and take out that Florida. And it doesn't look like it. Meanwhile, my team is taking some devastating losses here. Now they've, these other battleships have noticed me, so I'm going to go in, another torpedo spread, this LIGO run, and then two of my torpedoes do hit this Kawachi out here, and do significant damage, I get hits on him. So I've managed to get hits on all of the battleships, and have caused significant damage, but I'm uh, enemy numero uno as it stands right now so I'm gonna just try to get off one more spread enemy destroyers are respawning and I guess that's one of the things I didn't quite realize was uh, that we were in competition mode and that enemies would be respawning and suddenly I find myself kind of in the middle of it as here we go again and then I'm going to try to get off a couple more torpedoes again in a crisscross fashion one more torpedo. I didn't notice these incoming, else I would have cut a little bit earlier. And one of them is going to make contact with me here, and there goes my first life. One kill on that life. But I did significant damage to their battleship fleet and disrupted their battleship fleet. They had to worry about me instead of, I had hoped, worrying about destroying the rest of my fleet. However, it didn't quite end up that way. As you see, we're now losing this match 10-3, and we've got to get 17 kills, and so things aren't going to look too well. Kill Alex here and his Kuma, then respawned. So I look at the situation, I'm like, I don't think we're going to win this, but I know that I've significantly damaged the bulk of their battleship fleet. So I'm like, hmm... I might as well just go steaming straight back towards them and see if I can actually make it up there in one piece. I'm trying to debate which direction would be the best, and I decide, you know, I'm just going to take a familiar path. I didn't see a lot of opposition when I went this way previously, so I'm like, huh, you know, if it worked the first time, maybe they won't expect me to come back the exact same way again. So obviously they're not running a scout or destroyer screen or submarine screen on this side, so I'm going to hug the coast a lot more closely this time around. After all, I did force their battleships to essentially move off their stationary positions. Typically, if you can get somebody back here and... Whoop, there's the key. Kawachi. Well, I know there's not going to be too much time in... I'm zoomed in right now. I'm watching his guns to see where they're zooming in. There's the other Florida. 
Uh oh. Yeah, I think he's seen me now, so time to start off firing. Bring in the torpedoes. Fortunately, they're about as good with their main weapons as I am with torpedoes, which means not very. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire off a salvo of torpedoes at both. Well, actually, all three. See what happens. Taking a couple of hits. And there goes the Kiwachi. As I basically turn around to try to get my other torpedo bank ready to go. A little bit too early on the release there, I think. And here we go, my torpedoes again. Find their marks. They're severely damaged before even more so. I don't think that Hyaglan Hyalagolan is too soon for this world. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of pot shots at him. Hoping that one of my torpedoes strikes Pater here. But apparently not. He's got a few seconds, so I might as well go ahead and My battleships are returning fire. I'm gonna fire off torpedoes here, and then I notice he's down to 50 hit points. So I'm gonna switch over to my artillery. And a little too early on the gun. And torpedoes finishes him off. I don't know if the torpedoes got him or if my salvo got him. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And uh oh! Spaghettios. That's kill number three, and one of their battleships is back online here. 200 is not inconceivable to take out with my main guns, my artillery, as pitiful as they are. Now, I don't know where they are right there, so I, again, I don't know how long it's going to be until a battleship trains his guns on me accurately. So I just fire off a relatively random salvo of torpedoes in that general direction. And then we get to see how bad I am at aiming on the fly. And then I'm going to try to fire off a salvo, salvo of torpedoes here. Basically to try to go in between the two battleships, hoping that they get there in time and make their mark and connect with at least one of my targets. I'm going to continue to fire off salvo after salvo, try to get a couple of nice hits on their ships. And then I notice there's a bunch of other destroyers heading towards me here. They've respawned or retreated one of the two. So once again, withering fire from battleships. He fires off his torpedoes, and I'm able to basically get in between his screen. So I think he's going to try to ram me here. That hurts. Hurts him a little bit too. I get guns on him, and I'm also under attack from aircraft. He tried to torpedo me. Hey, I'm green. Got a good shot, so I'm just gonna, again, as I'm turning, go around. And my torpedoes find their mark. Those dive bombers do not, as I continue to zigzag. And then we end in defeat. You know. 17 to 8, and I had 4 of the kills to 1 death. I'll take that. Thank you very much for locking, uh, watching. Walking. Waka waka waka. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and see you next time.